My friends, welcome back. We're playing as the United Federation of Planets. Yes, we're still uh, playing with the uh, the Breen Wars. I know they've been saying Breen Wars. I don't know why. <clears throat> also, the cold, guys. Oh, wow. <clears throat> it's been uh, reaching a very drastic height. I'm trying my best. Bear with me. Bear with me. So, uh, we got all of our fleets going in. And... All of the armies, they will just have to go somewhere, and hopefully, we uh, are able to uh, kick the bream back to um, wherever it is that they belong. And, oh wow, did I just lose a fleet? Oh no, actually, oh, 5k is now on this planet. Oh wow, yeah, that actually looks uh, way better, way better right now. There's one fleet going in there as well, uh, this one transport. Since uh, he got separated from his flock. Uh, let's just go with that. Uh, spaceport under attack. It's uh, always due to these... Um, these armies. It's... Uh, well, something we'll have to deal with. It's uh, nothing else. I've been thinking about the next war. And the next war being that of the Borg. And I think the way that we want to proceed, even though they have a, uh, a very massive amount of planets. The Lost City in Bejo. Wow, cool. Following the guidance of Ranjan Yedrim. Yed Yedrin, yeah. After he experienced a Pachtem Fa vision, the archaeological team of Bejo have unearthed the Bantika. Spire of what appears to be an ancient city. Cool. Not sure what it does. Maybe it's here in uh, in summaries. I would s like to see, actually, those buildings pop up. That would be interesting. Oh yeah, we are doing the lost research, the lost city thing. Oh cool. Didn't even know that. So let's make sure that that's queued up as well. Carnivorous Reptipods. Actually, a very interesting tiles with that. I wonder what we'll get for uh, other options. So, as I was saying, as I was saying, uh, we want to get into the system with the unit complex. I think that is the heart of their territory. Colony. Colony. And if we are able to get them just down... Uh, I don't know how many stars they actually have. They have so many. It's insane. It truly is insane. Uh, guys, that, that war is going to be quite quite big. Okay, he died. Of course he died. Because that's what my generals are good at. Getting themselves killed. Let's see. All of that is going. You still need to heal up, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, some of your troops definitely need to heal up. Was this ours yet? I don't think so. Land them armies. It's not as big of a fight. So we got the um, uh, Psycho Tai Tech or whatever. And we now have the Midas Array. Oh cool. Creating subspace wormholes that allow communication over vast distances. I like that. I like that idea. So he is over there. Are you going to be a problem? No, we still have the station. And as long as we have the station, he is unable to do anything. As for this war... Uh, it's annoying. It truly really is. I guess there's still systems that we don't have. But I don't know where. And I, I've not I've yet to find him. We have defeated our attackers. How? No, we have the station. What if? How have we been defeating them? I see that they are, you know, that they, they've definitely um, got damage. Interesting. Construction complete. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, I guess it doesn't matter at all. How is this fight going? Because, damn, this one is definitely frightening. 
Uh, Amish place. Yeah, we've been we've been knocking them down, but we got a lot of casualties over there. <clears throat> uh, the one, the one ship is in there. You have too many armies. Of th there are no armies in the uh, in orbit. Enter orbit. Enter the right orbit. Okay, so he's in there now. Uh, apparently, this fight is over, which is cool. Let's start sending you over here. And land the mummies. Yeah, there, there's actually nothing over here. And I would like to see planets that don't have armies just immediately change. Immediately, because they have no armies. So why wouldn't they? they they're they surrendering. There's no means to fight any oppressors. And I still hope that we can do this before we had hit like 100. Yeah, this, this, this fight over this, see this, this one. This one's already taken. So, that's, it's one, two. Um, wow. Three. So, three more of the Antlic. As for the Bream, it's... Two. By the looks of things. And for the Kardashians, it's been a bit much, a bit more. One, two, three, four. Actually, we're, we're very close. Who died? Wogley! Ah, oh, man, he's been in the series for a long time as well. Oh, cool. Who died? Yeah, Admiral Wog. He's an Admiral, so there's now a fleet without a captain. And I think one of my gen... Yeah. Uh, figures. Yeah, let's go with this guy. So that general died. But there's another general. So they don't flip. Ah, uh, damn it. I hate that. So this time project is our... Is the Enterprise. Where are you? Are you close? Will you be able to get there in time? Yo, you will definitely be getting there in time. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, like I've said so many times now, um, I know there's some people that would have liked to take the position of Baseball Boy, but he's been so active in the comment section, I could not, could not, not have him in the series. I'm sorry for that. Construction ship, you know why, since you're not doing anything, just go, go here, get those stations. Construction. Uh, those are from the Sorens. It's not like they have anything in my territory. Hmm. Yeah. Oh well. I guess uh, it's just due to those planets. I uh, once those planets fall and and they're still unoccupied systems, then then I don't know what to do. Okay, so you're done. Um, mm, 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 that's been done. There's something over there. There was one other over here, right? Oh no, they actually took it. So you, you're running over here. Enter that orbit. It's not inhabitable, come on. It's not that bad a planet. Land those armies. No armies as well, so... You could take this. Actually, we have armies in here. <laughs> Why won't you take this? Go ahead, take it. It's It would really help me if you would. 331. And I still have to look into some of my ships. Some of them that change. And we need to get rid of them. We have actually enough resources to go ahead and do it. Flagship Explorational. Oh, we still have to build the Enterprise D. Yeah, um, it's, it's weird because... I feel that we should have had the Enterprise E already. Are we not building that? Apparently we aren't. Wait, what? We have a flagship. Galaxy class flagship. Galaxy class flagship. Since when can we build multiple flagships? Uh, 
This is the girl. Yeah, the Enterprise D. Enterprise D. Weird. This usually, this, this usually wasn't a thing. Uh, Facer Banks. Secondary Hole. That probably will be an upgrade for you. Galaxy Class. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. Extended. That's good. Multi-mission ship. Superiority. And we should be focusing very heavy on armor for the Borg. So maybe we should flip this into something else. I don't know. Because the Borg, I believe, are very, very heavy on armor. And that would be a very bad fight. So ships like these would probably make... Well, little sense. These ships are just amazing for the Borg. So do we have those? The Akira. The Akira class should go into some of our fleets. Let's take a look here. And we don't have them in there. So it's this one. The multi-mission ship. So where we have room, we should get those ships in. I can't upgrade these and these are the ambassador class. And apparently we cannot reinforce this fleet. I don't think so. Are we actually... We're not making anything, are we? No, we're not. So we are unable to make this one ship. The constitutional class. Are you saying that I'm I'm just going to seriously have to kill my entire fleet again? Because that would really drive me insane. <sighs> this is the ship that we need. This one we can reinforce. Can we what retrospect you retrofit you in this? Come on. No, we can't. It's obsolete. I really, I really wish they would change a few of these settings. The way you could actually, you know, get those ships in. The find class. How about you? Yeah. I think it's going to be new fleets again. Shit. Ah, that feels a bit annoying though. Well, first things first. We'll, uh, we'll finish this war up. And once it is finished, we'll uh, look into what we will do with the Borg. So land those armies over there. We got nothing over there. Yeah, two more to go. And that should be it. How is this fight going? Okay, well, we will probably win it. There is our other general. Please don't die. I really don't like seeing my generals die all the time. And uh, yes, all the time. Maybe what we can do is just get more fleet... Um, if we get a higher fleet limit, that would help. Construction complete. And yeah, we're building a lot of houses because we're saving up. Uh, I'm saving up and I'm probably going to get more population. Since it's, it has been... Well, it's been dragging my economy down, actually. All of these are now fine. We still have a lot of people that we need... To get like on planets of these. Actually we don't have to stop that. Um, so let's see. Three. One, two, three. Okay, I'm out of money. We just have to wait. I don't want to spend too much time in here. I will sell half of, every, half of my stuff every time. Uh, all of these ships are done and good. It's just annoying to see that we can upgrade something without the ability to upgrade. So maybe we should get the ambassador class back. Let's see. I think it's um, Explorational Cruiser. Recommission. And now we should be able to um, upgrade these. But please, let me, let me upgrade these into newer ships because it's been quite a bit of a hassle let's see what can we get um unity plus 10 let's take that the doomsday machine fragment further experimentation on the doomsday fragment has been proven deeper insights each 
branch has managed to discover new information about the machine. Interesting. Are socialists, are no sociologists, and astronomics, astronom, well, astrometrics, yeah, I, I need to be very, very calm with reading today. Uh, teams have been managing to calculate a path to destruction through the galaxy, which has rendered worlds completely destroyed and wiping out numbers of pre-warp civilizations. Engineering team have uncovered some manufacturing defects with the hull fragments, showing that this was created by a being ju just as fallible as ourselves. Finally, the strength of the material is not invulnerable to our weapon fire. However, it seems that this is the inner hull of the machine, with the outer hull being stripped away millennia in the past. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> These findings are quite unsettling. So, wow. So, how many times can we actually do that? Okay, so we definitely have to look into all of this. Interesting. Now, we can't do anything with the minor artifacts other than breaking them down. Uh, there we go, the holograph. <clears throat> Exocamp. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, sure, why not? What does this bring? Represents a breakthrough into computers. Let's go for it. Elections is up and running again. You have nothing to do. Enemy troops on our soil. Wait, what? Okay, here we go again. So, what the hell is going on on the other planet? Suborbital fighter. Where? Where do you come from? Interesting. Because I have no bloody clue. Let's see you. Go here. And uh, land the armies. Did anything change here? No. 329. Okay, you're moving. Which is, I think, a good thing. Almost the final world from the uh, Entrak packs. Oh, I can't wait until... Uh, I can pause the recording and just, you know, <laughs> help myself. Oh, dear. Oh, well. So, we're building the multi-mission ship. Can we build the Enterprise E here as well? No, we already have one. Actually, we can only build it over here. No. Okay, so we can only support one in our fleet. It's been weird that I now see, you know, the uh, design. Usually, I didn't see that. Any edicts that we feel like running? Nah, uh, not really. We just need this war to uh, finish. That would be nice. Deploying liberation forces. Okay, so you're not you're done again. Let's take a look here. I kinda don't want to miss any planets since you know it's kind of. Tedious. I think this is the final one. So land armies. There's nothing here. This is the final one from them. Ships upgraded. Uh, ships are upgraded now. Which is nice. 32. Wow, that actually was a very big upgrade. So should we just get the constitutional class in here as well? The heavy cruiser? And the advanced cruiser. Let's see what kind of ships we're running at the moment that we don't have. You know, active. Heavy cruiser. Constitutional class. And the advanced cruiser, the Excelsior. Excelsior class. There we go. We have defeated our attackers. Okay, that's cool. Ambassador, constitutional class, and this is the defiant class, which is very nice. Um, nebula class. The nebula class. 
Seriously? Do we still have that? No, okay. I kind of want to change him with this ship. So we are going to be removing those two. And getting the Akira class in here. Who else? Akira class is in here. The Defiant, the Norway class. Go away, man. The go away. Uh, let's see. Defiant, the Norway. No. Defiant is cool. The Akira class. The Galaxy class. And the Excelsior class should go there. Yeah, I think that's way better. So let's reinforce all. How is this fight going? Oh, we're finally there. We're almost there. It's been so, uh, so long. Two, uh, 327. Let's close the fleets down. We're not using them anyways. Special project complete. Special project has been completed. Criminal faction has been defeated. So the Enterprise actually managed to go there. There's a reason why Baseball Boy II is one of the best in the business. They were successfully able to infant infiltrate and arrest the head of the local crime faction. And delve with the criminal underworld and dealt the criminal underworld a massive defeat. The planet and the citizens are considered themselves much safer tonight. So, um, very, very nicely done. Criminal faction defeated. And uh, with that, I'm going to be uh, ending the episode over here. I hope you're enjoying yourself, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.